Jehovah, Jehovah is supreme. Sing Jehovah, Jehovah, Jehovah is supreme. Cause you are seated on the throne. Jehovah, Jehovah is supreme. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Jehovah is supreme. Oh, you are seated on the throne. Jehovah, Jehovah, you are supreme. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Jehovah, Jehovah is supreme. Praise the Lord, women of God. Hallelujah. Yeah. I welcome you all to today's prayer session. God bless you. And um, I want to use this opportunity to appreciate the set woman over this ministry. No other person than my mommy, the beautiful apostle Opiala. Thank you for being a blessing to us, for being a blessing to your generation. May God continue to bless you, keep you, and honor you in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, so today um, we're going to be praying, and um, I want to talk to us about a topic called quality over quantity. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And I'm going to take you to a story that Jesus told us in the book of Mark chapter 12 and verse 41 to 44 and he says now jesus sat opposite the treasury and saw how the people put money into the treasury and men who were rich put in much then one poor widow came and threw in two mites which make a quadrant so he called his disciples to him and said to them assuredly i say to you this poor widow has put in more than all those who have given to the treasury for they all put in out of the abundance but she out of her poverty put in all that she had even a whole livelihood there's what is called quality quality means excellent and the best in this context that we're talking about god is a god of excellence and he always wants us to give the best the best in everything if you remember the story of cain in the bible and abel abel gave and Cain also gave. But there was a difference. Abel gave his best. But Cain did not give his best. And the Bible counted it unto Abel as righteousness. Now, if we also look into the story of the widow, the woman, she gave him everything. She gave a hundred percent. There were so many people in church. The rich were in church. They gave him more than she gave. But the widow gave him everything that she had. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. She gave him a hundred percent. So you see, in all areas of our lives, and when women pray in our homes, in our families, at work, in church, in all activities, in our affairs of contact, wherever we are being found, we must give God our best. We must give in our best. We must be excellent women that give in. The best i want us to pray say in whatever has been given to us to do in whatever has been given to us we will to do. do it with all of our minds we will do it with all of our minds it's also like the declaration declare say in whatever in whatever i have been given to do i have been given to do i will do it with all of my mind i will do it with all of my mind in jesus name in jesus i want name. us to declare again say i will put forth the efforts i will put forth the efforts to produce quality to produce quality both physically both physically and spiritually, and spiritually in the mighty name of in Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I want to tell you something that your prayer altar and your relationship with God must be quality in this year 2023. This is a year where God will speak to us. And the only way you can hear the voice of the Lord is when you spend time with him. So you must spend quality time with him so that when he speaks, you will recognize his voice. I want us to pray concerning the works of our hands, concerning our businesses, and concerning everything that God has committed into our hands to do in this year, 2023. Say, Lord, I will give you the best. Lord, I 
I'll give, give you the best. I'll do my best. I'll do my best. So help me, God. So help me, God. Ask God for grace. I will see grace. I will see grace, I will see grace to give my so best in all that I do. In Jesus' name, I will see grace. I will give you the best in all that I do. Grace, Lord. We have grace for excellence. It's upon me. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. The Bible talked about the excellent spirit. He said the excellent spirit of God was upon Daniel. I want also ask for the excellent spirit of God that in all that we do, men will always notice that there's something different. There will be a factor. The God factor will be on all that we do. The God factor is the spirit of excellence. Ask for the spirit of excellence to rest upon your business, to rest oh, upon God, your ministry, Lord, to rest Lord, upon Lord, your Lord, family, Lord, to rest Lord, upon Lord, your children, Lord, to rest Lord, upon Lord, the Lord, church, Lord, to rest Lord, upon one million prayer and all that we do. Father, we ask for the spirit of excellence to rest upon us. Father, like it was upon Daniel, let the spirit of excellence rest upon my children, rest upon the body of Christ, rest upon when women pray, rest upon Nigeria, rest upon the nations of the world. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Our next prayer point that we're going to be praying about is for WWP and the body of Christ. We're going to be praying against unhealthy competition in when women pray and in the body of Christ. Let's go to 1 Samuel 18 verse 8. He says, Then Saul became very angry for this saying displeased him. And he said, They have ascribed to David 10,000, but to me they have ascribed only thousands. Now, what more can he have but the kingdom? Saul looked at David with suspicion and jealousy from that day forward. Women of God, you see, when jealousy is allowed in, the devil is permitted access. And you see, that was what happened to Lucifer. He wanted more praise. He wanted the praises of other angels. And so jealousy found his way. So that's why, you see, in this year 2023, you must be very careful. Don't allow jealousy to come around you. Come around when women pray or the people around you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And so, unhealthy competition is a kind of competition that, you know, it begins with comparison, leads to jealousy, leads to envy, leads to strife, leads to division in the body of Christ. It will affect your, 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 your contentment and your confidence in God and to love for others. You know, it is eating up the body of Christ. Unhealthy competition is eating up the body of Christ. And today we say no. No. We say no. 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 May we never compare ourselves. Amen. Our talents, our spiritual gifts, our possessions, and all the Lord has blessed us with, with anyone else. You know, when you begin to compare yourself, jealousy begins to creep in. We're going to pray. Say, Father, help me. Father, help me. I will not compare myself. I will not compare myself. With another. With another. I will not compare my talent. I will not compare my, my spiritual talent, gifts. My spiritual my gifts. Possessions, my possessions. And all that you have blessed me. All that you have blessed me with. With anyone. With anyone. In Jesus' name. In Jesus Open up your mouth and begin to pray. Father, Lord, we ask for grace. I will not compare ourselves, our talents, our spiritual gifts. And Father, Lord, the matter that we have, we will not compare us. Father, Lord, I will not compare you with other the possession of this name, but I will not compare with anybody. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. You see, in this year 2023, we have to ask God, you know, that we will never believe ourselves, believe to ourselves. We have to ask God that He should help us, that we will never believe to ourselves, that we will not backbite, we will not mistreat, we will not lie on, we will not gossip. Remember, one of our core values in when women pray is what? No, no gossip. gossip. We will not gossip about someone because we are jealous of them. I want us to pray. Say, Father, Father deliver when women pray deliver and the body of Christ from the spirit of unhealthy competition. 
Swelled by jealousy. In the mighty name of Jesus. Open up your mouth and begin to pray. Father, deliver the big of you. Deliver the body of God from the spirit of an unhealthy competition. Swelled by jealousy. Father, deliver the big of you. Deliver the body of God from the spirit of an unhealthy competition. Swelled by jealousy. Father, Lord, deliver us from an unhealthy competition. In Jesus' name, we are Amen. Say, Father, help us. Father, help us. Not to belittle each other. Not to belittle each other. Not to bad buy. Not to bad buy. Not to mistreat each other. Not to mistreat each other. Not to lie on one another. Not to lie on one another. Not to gossip about someone. Not to gossip about someone. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Say, Father. Father. We ask for grace. We ask for grace. For the body of Christ. For the body of Christ. To continue to remain healthy. To continue to remain healthy. A healthy church. A healthy church. A healthy ministry. A healthy ministry. A healthy fellowship. A healthy fellowship. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. And we're going to be reading from Matthew 16, verse 18. And it says, And I say also unto thee, that thou art Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Verse 19, And I will give unto thee the keys of the kingdom of heaven, and whatsoever thou shalt bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. Amen. And whatsoever thou shalt lose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Amen. Women of God, the church of God is marching on. Amen. And the gates of hell Amen. shall not be gained. Right now, I want us to pray against the gates of hell. Against the powers of evil that be, that does not want the church of God to prosper. That does not want the heart church of God to prosper on social media. And does not want the church of God to go forward and increase and prosper. Father, we come against the gate of hell. The church of God will move on. The big of people will move forward. Our churches, the body of Christ will be stronger. The body of Christ will not go down. In the mighty name of Jesus, we come against principalities. We come against powers that are standing up, bringing up different strategies to bring down the body of Christ. We come against it and we declare that the church of God is marching on and the gates of hell do not prevail against it. In Jesus' name we pray. Verse 19 says again, and I will give unto thee the keys of the kingdom of heaven Amen. and whatsoever thou bind on earth Amen. shall be bound in heaven Amen. and whatever thou lose on earth Amen. shall be loose in heaven. I want us to begin to bind. You see, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You see, when the year starts, there are forces that are released into the atmosphere Ashila, the not to cause the kingdom of God to come Jesus. even in the body of Christ I want us to begin to bind those forces in the north in the south, in the east in the west that has been released into the atmosphere all over the world that will not allow the counsel of God to stand in 2023, we come against it in the mighty name of Jesus, we declare that Lord of God, let them be bound today, we bind them by the fire of the Holy Ghost, they will not be able to perform their enterprises no matter the strategies that have been put in place today we declare that they will not be able to perform their enterprises in the mighty name of jesus father we say thank you in jesus name we have prayed today we declare that whatever their strategies are whatever plans they've made we declare that their plans will come to naught they will not be able to perform their enterprises in nigeria Nigeria and all over the nations of the world. In the mighty name of Jesus, we paralyze their powers. They will not be able to fall. We take charge of the atmosphere of Nigeria. We take charge of the atmosphere of the world. Let your kingdom come. Let your will be done. In the mighty name of Jesus. And again, I say, the church of God is marching on. Amen. The gates of hell will not prevail. Amen. Father, we are grateful. Thank you, Thank Jesus. Thank you for this awesome time. Thank you, God. The time of prayer. Thank, Thank you, God, Jesus. because we know you've heard. Amen. And have answered. Amen. So in Jesus' name we are praying. Amen. Thank you so much for praying. God bless you.